Hey, what's up guys? This is Max Red. Today we're going to do a quick tips video covering the different record modes in Cubase. So let's get started. We begin by setting up our record mode. We go to the transport tab and select the common record mode. Our options are punch in, re-record, and where to start our recording. We can also set the record mode by clicking the transport panel near the lower left zone. For our first example, we will punch in at the cursor position. We arm the track to record, and then we turn on the monitoring. For this example, we will begin recording at the fifth bar. We move our cursor to the fifth bar, and then we hit the asterisk on our computer keyboard to begin recording. This is a video about record modes in Cubase. For the next example, we will record from the left locator position. This just means the recording will always start at the left locator. We can change it in the settings below, and then we can move our locator to test it. Regardless of the position of our cursor, recording will always jump to the locator when we hit record. We can place the left locator anywhere we want to start recording. Let's go to the second bar now. This is a video about record modes in Cubase. Okay, let's move on to our next example. Here, I will show you the re-record option. In this mode, every subsequent recording will automatically replace the previous recording. This is the fastest way to record when you are replacing a short phrase or a single word. Let's try it. This is a video about record modes in Cubase. Hitting record deletes our last take. This is a video about record modes in Cubase. And you keep going until you find the take that you like. In our last example, we are going to stack vocals or create lanes for individual takes. We take it off re-record and then we can begin recording. This is a video about record modes in Cubase. And we do one more. This is a video about record modes in Cubase. Notice the grid pattern on our audio track. This means we have multiple events. We simply hit the show lanes button and our takes are separated within the single track. This will allow us to comp our vocals using the comp tool at a later time. That's all I have for today. Please subscribe if you haven't and hit like or leave a comment for more videos like this. Thank you.